I became a doctor in education because I just love school improvement and improving schools and helping kids reach their potential. My greatest inspiration was my mother who taught me one of the most important values anyone can have and that is resilience. I learned from my mother that when you fail, you get up, dust yourself off and keep on going. I would like to share a strategy of success with you before I leave. And that is be visionary. One of the things that I stated earlier was that I wrote an action plan. Write it down and, and really set your goals and manifest your goals. And I feel that that has been tremendous in helping me along the way. And so I did my doctorate here in, uh, at the University of Southern California, USC. After all my journey, while, and also while I was doing my doctorate, I lost my father and my mother and my brother and I almost gave up my education at that time because it was so hard. But I find, I, you know, persistence, it really helps. So I, I said, no, I have to get through this. And I did, uh, through persistence, through perseverance, through all, uh, you know, I had my visions, I had my dreams and I had to follow it. And I did. And it, I, I tell you, there's nothing better than realizing your own dreams. Something that I would like to share with the students of Linwood is that your education is your greatest investment. No matter what else happens to you in your life, you will always have your education and you are worth the work that it takes to earn a degree. I'm a doctor of education and my doctorate is in educational leadership and management. I wanna share what inspired me to get my doctorate degree. It was a director over a university that implied that I wasn't capable of getting one and that actually inspired me to prove her wrong. Thank you very much. My greatest inspiration are my parents who came to this country from Mexico so that they could provide uh, better opportunities for their children. I also had a professor at USC who was very influential in me pursuing this doctorate and what was really powerful was that I saw someone that looked like me at the university level and that was a very powerful image for me and she served as my mentor and pushed me to pursue my doctorate. My greatest inspiration was my grandmother. My grandmother was one of the oldest of 13 kids. She was the wisest, smartest, nicest woman I ever met and my everyday goal is that I can be more and more like her. So in her honor and for her legacy, I pursued my doctorate in education. I decided to become a teacher because I believe I can make a difference. I believe I can start changing the world one student at a time, one person at a time. I like to be in the classrooms because I can teach students to believe in themselves, to have a high self-esteem, to understand that everyone is different and that's what makes us special. I became a teacher because as a single mother, I kept I kept telling my daughter that education was important and I didn't want to, you know, I had, was talking the talk, but I had to walk the walk. So I took Hello, my name is Nakia McGowan and I'm an instructional assistant at Roosevelt Elementary. I'm from Long Beach and um, I attended St. Anthony's High School, Jordan High School. From there, I went on to Grandma State University where I have a bachelor's degree in biology. I think what makes me most proud to be a woman in the school district is knowing that we come from um, such a strong struggle as women to be represented and to finally have a say in what happens in our school district is amazing. And of course, knowing that we're in a district where all of the women in our administrative seats are, are so powerful and so ready to assist our students and to make a difference within our community, that's an amazing feat in and of itself.